What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel and today we're back in Car Mechanic Simulator 2018, mate. What's going on? Hope everyone had a wonderful weekend. <laughs> Monday is here, the start of the week. Dread it. Let's get after it. Let's get after this week. Hashtag get after, uh, get after it. BMW. BMW Roadster. This is looking kind of nice. But not yet because we've expanded the shop. Oh, we got two lifters now. Uh, a nice little... Ooh, got a nice little area over here. Hello. It's the door to nowhere. Help. We're trapped. Um, nothing too crazy. Nothing too off the wall. Except we have a second lifter and we now have a parts warehouse. Something that has been said numerous times in my uh, old series of 2015. I was like, they should really have a place where you can store parts. I didn't have it. We don't need this though. But look at all these parts, man. And these are where you get all those. Because those, I mean, you didn't take a part. You didn't strip a me of me, me of any ears, ears. Or a Tempest Magnum Hood. Or a Bolt Chapman. No, I did not. Because at level 13, as we're at level 14, level 13, you unlock the junkyard. So let's go check it out. We got barns, we got junkyards, and car salon. Really? Right, so let's hop on over and see what the chunk yard looks like. It's pretty cool. I've been here before. I grabbed a whole bunch of parts, and it looks like the bug has been fixed when it comes to, or at least on my end, anyway. Um, when you go to a junkyard or a barn find, you now have to pay for the parts and not pay for the car. Boo! Yeah, I know, right? I mean, who wants to pay for stuff? Silly goose. Uh -huh. I'm waiting for a junkyard dog to come out and be like, hey man, who are you? Check it out. So all these different junk piles have different things that you can go in and snag up. Now, uh, you can take a risk and purchase a part that may not be in the hottest of conditions. But say like a Ecos Cobra front bumper, oh that's gonna be nice, I need that. You go ahead and snag it up, it'll bring it over here, into the right hand side. And then you can uh, go about your business. Go about your business. See, uh, look at this, ooh. Sail Inspector trunk, 90%. I'll peep that, I'll peep that joint. What else we got? Anything good? You can cherry pick, you know, you just cherry pick whichever parts you like. Oh, hey there, GTO. Uh, now, we can't really do too much when it comes to taking apart these, but we can purchase them. For 17 grand? What do we got? 88 grand? Maybe later. Maybe later. I got enough cars right now that I'm, I'm, I'm stacking up, lining up. It's going to be a good time once we figure it all out. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, look. A Gremlin. Or a Pinto. Pinto station wagon. Gremlin. Pinto station wagon. There's no such thing. Uh, anything over here? Well, this place is pretty big, man. You can get parts for days in this joint. You can get parts for days, depending on what you need, what you like, what, you, what you're what you really willing to take a risk on. Anything good? Oh, for a second there, I thought that was a Suburban that we could just go ahead and snag up. That would have been nice. That would have been sweet, but it was not meant to be. No. I think we've already checked these out. Yeah, yeah, we've already checked you out. Oh, oh, hello. What we got, what we got, what we got? What you got on my drink, Craig? Nothing. I don't need you. I don't need none of you. Ooh. Chieftain Bandit Taillight. I'll take the... Just the left one, though. Now we need the right one to match the matching set. Uh, let's see. How about you? This is now open for business. So we can hop in here anytime we want. Auction houses. Screw auction houses. I mean, we got we got all the parts. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how many parts we got. Uh, with each and every car that we could purchase out of here. But, I mean, since we are already... Uh, we're already kind of... When it comes to auction houses, I mean, we're taking the thing apart, repairing the pieces, but some of the pieces might be missing on this one. 
You know? So you gotta try and just figure it out, purchase them. Snag it up. Mayan rear eight left door. You know what? I will pass on the Mayan. Mayan, 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 Mayan. Ooh, hello. What are those? 17 grand. Hmm. The Lux of Bowen. Cruising down the street in my six foe. It's like that, and it's like this. Let's go ahead and purchase you. Yes, all right. Uh, car parking. Very, very cool. So it's unlocked now. So we don't have to worry about, uh... <laughs> I was like, is this a DLC or something? Like, how come I can't go to the... Go to the, go to the uh, junkyard? Oh, I just need to get the, uh... Experience to do so. And we now have it. Most of these parts uh, are really just busted up. Timing cover, A4, 81%. Yeah, I'll grab that. Um, I had to uh, head back to the shop because it kind of froze up on me when I went into something. And uh, it cost me 32 bucks. 32 bucks worth of parts. It was still there. I purchased them. Just for some reason it locked up. You know, they've been uh, doing a bunch of different hotfixes. The test path works again. Like, it's not going to give you a black screen. Ooh, nice. Uh, what else? Uh, just a bunch of different language fixes and uh, wheel fixes. The tablet now. Uh, remember in the last episode I mentioned, it was like, oh, you have to back all the way out for the tablet. Well, now you don't have to back all the way out. It works while you're getting your groove on working on the car. Nice. Ooh. Front exhaust section 300 SL. You know what? I'm not worried about that. It's a nice piece. It's my piece. Uh, also, I've not uh, really do uh, dove into the mods or modding yet. I don't think the uh, developers have either. I think they had enough of their plate with the uh, issues that were happening. So That's a nice Delray Custom. It's a nice Delray Custom tail out there. But once we start getting into the groove of things, because once uh, we get enough XP to unlock the certain areas, the last areas that is, then we'll start restoring our rides. We're starting to get enough money in. We're starting to get enough scratch to do what we want to do. But we first have to unlock it. So, I'll tell you what. Oh, what's this? Hello. Ah, uh, we are another GTO. They like the, they like the, oh, hello. Got ourselves a Plymouth. Twenty-four grand. Uh, I'll tell you what. I'll be back for you. I'll be back for you. When the rain starts to fall, I'm better. <laughs> the rain does fall. We better hurry up because uh, your paneling is a mess. It was a nightmare. And correction, this is not a 1944. Oh, see, they, they got fire, bro. They got all, all, all these things all over the joint. Nice. This is a 1950s Ford. I was mistaken. I've been calling it the wrong thing the whole time. People are triggered. I apologize. Not I. All right. So let's head back to the shop. Return to the garage. We got timing cover and a bolt Chapman right fender. We shall buy those parts for 19 hot dollars. good time so we got uh believe we got four cars now four cars yeah not just two because uh, when i was testing out the junkyard i saw a shelby cobra it's like a 457 shelby cobra 457 and uh it was pretty sweet let me show you exit to the packing Exit to the packing. The loading screens are a lot uh, nicer. You gotta give it that much. I mean, the old loading screens before trying to go from the go hop into the garage was one of the most egregious things. All right, so get that. I'm up in the air. Is that a Firebird or, or a Cuda? Because the headlights kind of look like an old Firebird, but then when you look at old Barracudas too, they kind of have that same kind of headlight. I don't know, but I do know that we have Pontiac Firebirds. Uh, this is a Trans Am. Got you know, smoking in the band type cars. That's actually on the lift. Our 1950s Ford. And boom. Got our Shelby. 
That's gonna be sweet. I mean, just, um, someone requested to have this be the first car that we restore, and I said, sure. That's gonna be the second right there, and then we'll have a hole in the fiber. It's gonna be, it's gonna be nice. And then we have our Impala. Good stuff. Alright, so let's head back, because we need to get our level on, and we need to get our level on hard. Uh, we have a cast, uh, Caster Earthquake, aka a Ford F-150 on the lift, as well as a uh, Pontiac Firebird Trans Am. It's, all that's missing is the Phoenix. All that's missing is the Phoenix, baby. But we got ourselves a pickup truck right here. It's nice. Oh yeah. It's gonna be sweet. So, what do we need to do here today? Alright. Change the engine oil, gotcha. Replace timing related parts. We are also we have everything. Uh, tapping sounds from engine bay. Car is car is loud. It's loud. Transmission is noisy. You got it, man. You got it. Alright. So let's go ahead. Uh, I'll tell you what. Let's hop into you. Nice. And let's go through all of our meters. I can't get anything on the screen. Nothing on the screen. Nothing that gives me just like some 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 points here. Nothing. I'll take it though. Listen, it didn't crash the game. <laughs> that's that's not good. Sometimes you get, must take good with bad. I like. I like. All right. Looking nice. Okay. Electronic meter. Electrometer. Can I get just like snake going across the screen? Can I get like minesweeper? Something. Anything. Bueller. Bueller. Of course, most of the things are not going to be uh, checked because of the timing. But we can kind of see what the problems are. Uh, let's see here. Alright, so let's go ahead. We'll hop in. Start taking it apart. Okay. First things first, let's grab the radiator so that we have enough room to roam and see some things in some space. That way we can freely move about. Looks like we need the bell tensioner and we have the water pump pulley and the water pump itself is a nightmare. Uh, it was a nightmare. We're gonna take some off, take off some idler rollers. Yep. Gotta grab that idler roller pulley right there, man. Get that pulley and then everything else just comes off. Like peas and carrots. We're going moving together. Spit stuff. Boom. Nice. Nay. 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 Right. Okay. Timer and later parts. We've got the uh, <clears throat> water pump fully. Timing belt. Ah, we gotta take that. Let's see what you're gonna do. Gotta take the time, pe time peeps off. Tapping time comes from the engine bay. Hmm, that's, that's no bueno. He's no bueno. We gotta take off the timing cover. So we're gonna have to take off every single one of these things here. And then we're gonna have to take off the covers. Here we thought it was gonna be something real nice and simple, real nice and easy, but no, 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 no. Gotta snag. Snag up all these. You know, I don't think we need to take off the alternator. I don't think we need to do that. Or the power steering. Let's move the battery too. Just get that thing out of the way. Ow. Good. Good. Gotta take off the engine covers. Now, as far as the tools go, I have uh, pretty much almost everything. Well, I want to say almost everything. I mean, think, well, technically we almost have everything. Yeah, almost. Almost is not. Almost is never enough. Um, but as far as all the meters go, to try and do the repairs. But pretty soon, I have a feeling that what's going to happen is kind of like. Oh, hold on a second. Sorry. It's just like in 2015. I've made it to about uh, I think it was eight or nine episodes in. Until I'd made enough money where I felt confident enough, I was like, all right, we're going to start doing restorations now. So, we're getting close to that point. I just need to unlock certain points in the tree to unlock certain things in 
the game in order for us to be able to fully restore things. Especially like interior paint shop. Not, you know, interior paint shop. We're not going to paint the inside of the car. But, uh, just might. Who knows? Who knows? I might get crazy. I just might get crazy. Alright, so timing bell's got to come off. Rock and rolling. Call me the rock and roller. Uh oh, gotta have an oil filter there. All right, so we see the parts that we need to take care of. Let's go ahead and take those off at the moment. Plus, we have to do an oil change anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me, Monday. Gotta get my coffee. All right, let's go ahead and drain your oil. I'm gonna I'll take a sip, of, a sip of Joe. Boom! Feeling good about it. Mm hmm. Getting that coffee in. Good coffee there. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, when it comes to uh, being fancy and needing the fanciest things, um, I need to be hampered in two ways, and that's two ways specifically. Uh, I like it when I go to, like when I get my hair cut, even though it's a cheap kind of haircut, I like to go to a salon. I like to be pampered. Can I, can I unscrew you? There we go. That was odd. And coffee. I need to have the fanciest coffee. I need. Can't drink it black. Hashtag no racism. I can't. I can't drink it black. I just can't. I need sugar and cream. I need sugar and cream, baby. Oh, sorry. Hello. Starter. Lots of sugar, lots of cream, maybe a little caramel shot of swizzle. Maybe even some whip. Who knows? Maybe an extra shot of espresso. I must be a pretty girl. <laughs> Ew, our flywheel's all kinds of nasty. Alright, so go ahead and bust these. Pressure freight. What do you know? About pressure. Awesome. Beautiful. All right, so all right, so did we discover anything really crazy? Card is loud. A card is loud. Flywheel. All right, so that's the tapping coming to the engine bay. Was the flywheel nice? All right, car is loud. Usually has something to do with the muffler or exhaust system. One of those two. So let's take a look. Let's peep this joint. Now, sometimes the uh, mufflers can be a little bit uh, sneaky on you. It could look like, I don't know if that's a bug either or not, but uh, they can look like they're all nice and pristine. Then they got problems. Cause I seen it. I seen it. All right, you all seem to be fine. Middle muffler. Middle muffler. Can be examined with an ODB scan, uh, which I don't have. Do I, do I have a scan? OBD. You down with OBD? Yeah, you know me. Who's down with OBD? Every last one. I don't know the words. Hello. Yeah. Interesting, my friends. Well, how about the manifold? It can be examined by taking off the car. You would! Hmm. Car is loud. Right. Now, if we would have done the, uh... We did the scanner. One scanner, which is good for the pistons, so I know the pistons are alright. That ain't a problem. But. So if these caps are okay. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Since we're already here. We're already doing it. 
but I don't think those are the problems. Those aren't the problem, child. Let's go ahead and we'll pop that back. Pop that joint back on there, man. Alright. It's making a loud noise, huh? Okay. Okay, let's see. Now, I've already taken out parts, so I have a feeling that it's just going to be a uh, bad time if I try to take apart anything more. So let's see if we can just try... <clears throat> when I say taking it take off more, I mean like... Uh... I've already taken the parts off, so why should I put it all back together again and just run on a test path? I should have just ran it on a test track. That's what I should have done. Someone's got a face of someone's got a case of the should have. Uh huh. Interesting. Alright. That's a okay. This one doesn't seem like it'll be a problem. Hmm. Aha! See? Rear muffler V8 exhaust pipe. So we did get the parts. I should have I should have noticed it when I took it off because uh, at the very top here it gives you like what the percentage is of it. So good. So we don't have to worry about that. I knew it. And when the car is loud, it, it has something to do with the exhaust. But it looks really nice, you know. It looks clean the entire time, but something's wrong with it. So you just gotta take off all the mufflers and the exhaust and figure out which part is the one that has the worst. It's wonky. It's uh, different, I suppose. So all right. Let's go ahead and put that back on. Cause I should have taken it off. Alright, come here. There we go, sport. Alright, so. Of course, V8. Placing water pump. Bell tensioner. Water pump pulley. V8. Tapping sound. We need a flywheel because we so fly. Rear muffler V8. Transfer case. 4x4. Got to get the pumpkin. Gearbox and the transfer case 4x4. Alright. Those are going to be probably the most expensive things that we have to deal with. So let's see if we can repair anything, which we haven't really... I, I haven't... Uh, I sold off a bunch of parts when I was... Oh, okay, we fuel real DI, but those are already A-OK. -okay. And these are the only parts that I can really mess with. Yeah. I'm not sure that when you unlock more of a percentage that you're able to fix other things as well. Because I've been noticing that when I've been taking parts off that... Uh, parts that I think I should be able to repair... It just doesn't pop up at all. So it's weird. It's weird. But you know what? We'll get through this together. So, gearbox. Gearbox. Uh, we gotta get the gotta get our V8 here. $1,425. Expansive. It is expansive. It is expansive. Uh, transfer case. That's what we need there too. Dang, son. That was that's, that's more than the regular gearbox. Say what? Alright, flywheel. Let's get ourselves a timing belt. V8, two of them. Grab two of those joints. It's beautiful. Uh water. Water. I wrote the song. It's about how two ships pass in the night. It's called water. Ugh, gross. Um, pulley. I need a pulley. Pulley. So the water pumps look a little different than they used to, but I believe we just need that. And if not, we'll just store it. If not, we'll just store it. Beep, beep. Oh, we need mufflers too. Alright, so we got our V8 and an oil filter. And a belt tensioner. Belt 
attention. So when I said that they uh, fixed the tran fixed the uh, the tablet, so now when I'm saying like I'm, I'm about to mount this part right here, I can just I used to there was a bug where I couldn't open up the tablet, but now we can open up the tablet. It's beautiful. I don't know why I just dumped out of there quick. All right, so muffler. Muffler V8. Uh, we need a belt tensioner. Awesome. And what else do we need? Last but not least, I'm missing one last thing. Oh, oil filter. An exhaust pipe. Oil filter, exhaust pipe. Filter. Could you wanna take my picture? Not that filter, not that kind of filter. Filter OHV and exhaust pipe. And V ah, uh, Funderbar. Exhaust pipe, grab you, snag you up. Looking all kinds of per to map. Nice. So let's go ahead and we'll start putting this beast back together. Boom. Boom. Knock it out of the pack. And we'll put those spark plugs back in there. Sparky. And hit our enter key, which is uh, a nice tip. I did. I was, I was aware of it before. Okay, okay, bud. All right, buddy. All right, comment this in the comment section. No, I really appreciate it. Uh, all the uh, hints, tips, and tricks, as well as uh, people calling me out for the wrong kind of car. I need to be educated. I need to be made aware. Because sometimes uh, I, I know certain. I know what certain cars look like, but there are certain cars that uh, you know. I think everybody can feel me on this. They do look the same as like a counterpart. <laughs> you know, it's like, like a, oh, that looks like a Firebird. Oh, is that a, is that a Barracuda? They almost look identical in certain forms, certain aspects. Um, just gotta be educated, that's all. Let me educate you, Diesel, okay? There's always that one guy. There's always that one guy. It's like, excuse me, um, I just want to let you know that that's actually a, a 1950s Ford. I say that I understand. That's that would annoy me too if I knew exactly what that was, and this guy was saying it all wrong. I appreciate it. I understand. I understand. I understand. Let's put the coil cover back on. Put the, put the throttle. Put, put the throttle back on there. Nice. Nice. Awesome. Good stuff. Good stuff indeed. Uh, it's like super awesome when we just put some stuff together, you know, it's like super good, you know. Uh, hut, hut, screwing it in, we have to put some oil in this John too. We have to put some oil in this John. For those of you who are not unaware, when I say John, people get kind of annoyed with that as well. It's a Philly thing, from Allentown, Pennsylvania. I have a bunch of friends in Philly, and when I visit them, I say John all the time. And for those of you who don't know what John is, John is all encompassing. John is everything. Like, say, for instance, I'm gonna go fix. I'll use it in a sentence. It's like we're at a spelling bee. Um, say, for instance, I need to go fix that car over there. It translates over to, I need to go fix that John over there. It seems stupid, but, you know, whatever. John is all in common. Say if you were going to the doctor, like the neck bone's connected to the backbone, that would be the John bone is connected to the John bone. It can mean anything. <laughs> Everyone right now is freaking out. Alrighty. Hey, 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 hey. Where are you going there, Sparky? There we go. Alright. Let's go ahead. We'll put that serpentine. Come on. I want to watch you scream. <laughs> That sounds like a good uh, good song to listen to on the way to work today. Boo. Boo, boo, boo. It's alright, though. It drives a little long, but you know what? It's alright. As long as you got tunes, man. Before podcasts, I don't know what. It's like you had, the, I had a giant, like, CD, CD book. Kids right now are like CDs. What the hell are CDs? Um, fan housing. Boom, boom, boom. Before podcast, man, I was I had a big CD book. It's like, hmm, what do I want to listen to today? Just you know, fanning through it in traffic. <laughs> like, what what should I listen to today? Hmm. 
That's the sound that the page shit makes. It actually was a sound that the uh, page makes. I did take this, these parts off, right? Y'all did see that, right? <laughs> this game, man. Uh, yeah, because, uh, hold on here. I do have... I do have parts. I, I, I purchased these. Alright. I mean, I'm not mad at this bug. It, it fixed it for me. <laughs> but there is something that's going on with the muffler systems. There is something that's going on with mufflers where, uh... They'll say that they need to be replaced. For some reason, but it looks like this. It looks so pretty. And I know I took off the muffler in the back and an exhaust pipe. But you know what? Let's not worry about it. Let's not, let's, you know, let's not hark on the past. So you may think about the past, but I'm thinking about the future. Tomorrow's here. It's a brand new day. And let's get this cast to earthquake on its way. Oh, I'm a poet, you know? I can't help myself sometimes when I'm just in the moment, in the flow of the moment. Now, uh, let's see here. All right, so let's go ahead. We'll grab the clutch release bearing cap. Boom. Put on the gear box. It's all nice and neat. All nice and neat. Yeah, they keep releasing updates uh, every single day. Get a nice little patch going in there. Things are uh, things are nice and, and worked out. It's a uh, quite the extensive list, but at the same time, they're really working hard to try and get this bad boy working. And for the most part, it does work a lot better than what it did before. Get a constant 60 frames per second, even when I'm in the parking garage. So it's uh, it's coming together, folks, slowly but surely. Have faith, but you get to have faith. Bum, bum, I got to have faith. Alright, drive shop. You are everybody. You are everybody. What band? Band's drive shaft from Lost. Get out of here. Yeah, you fans of Lost, that? Yeah? You fans of Lost? I was a fan of Lost. Up until season three. The season that I lost, the season that it lost me, um, was a season where they went back in time. Note this, everybody. Whenever there's a TV show that you really like or you really enjoy and it's starting to go downhill, um, it's usually when they go, all right, uh, let's, uh, let's go back in time. How long do we want to go back in time for? The whole season. Really? Really? Yeah. The whole season. That's when I was like, and they're out of ideas already. <laughs> and then they went on for three more seasons. Or two, uh, four, that was season three or four? Season four? Well, went on for another two more seasons after that. Uh, all right. Let's go ahead and we'll put some oil in here. Some oil in here. Nice. Alright, looks like we got every fixed, 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 fixed. Yeah, because when we took it off, and I was kind of going through the parts, I'm like, man, I don't know what, if, we, uh, if we rocked it. It would just be, it would just pop up here as the name, like the rear muffler V8 exhaust pipe needs to be fixed. But it was already green check mark, and I didn't realize that. But our payout's 10 grand, so that's quality. Job bonus, tasks bonus, and no real bonus up top here. So let's go ahead and finish the order. Boom! Nice. So, now that we have a storage facility, let's hop in the warehouse and we'll keep those exhaust parts. So we'll drop you there, drop you in there. These are all the parts from the junkyard. And the rear muffler and the exhaust pipe. Everything else can be sold. Because it cannot be repaired. Not by me, anyway. Not yet. Not yet. So! This is going to be kind of a quicker episode today because it's Monday. For those of uh, we got a lot of new subscribers who came in this weekend. I want to appreciate you, and <laughs> I want to appreciate all my subscribers. I'll appreciate you so good. Um, but I want to thank everybody uh, for hitting that like, hitting that subscribe. Upgrade cost one. Oh, we don't have any available skills. Kill. And it looks like level 30 is when we have to rocket this back up, and we're only at level 14. That opens up the paint shop. It opens up another diagnostic. The uh, the dyno, if you will, and another lifter for the garage, but...
kind of need to have shows faster walking, faster screwing, and unscrewing. Part examination. Unlock pressure test. What do you know about pressure? Uh, and that's the last, this is the last, like, gauge that we can unlock. Is it, though? Is it, though? Part examination. It is. So we still have level one. So let's take out level one. Um, but yeah, it is going to be a bunch of things that I have to do off camera. Plus, you know, just regular repairing. Repair parts. It's nice. 50% cheaper trips to the junkyard. That's going to be, I'm going to have to peep that. It's going to be good stuff. Can repair your body parts. And, like, we're starting to get jobs, too, where it'll pop in there, like, do this, do this, do this. Oh, also fix the body parts. But uh, we can't really repair the body parts. Do we have... With our expansion here, do we have one of those machines that kind of you press it, kind of like in the 2015, where you it's like a CO2 canister and not CO2 canister, but uh, it would make the loud noise and then it would fix all the body parts. It would cost some money, but it would still fix everything. Well, I don't think I see that anywhere. I don't think we still have to use our chain here, our engine crane. This is our office now. We got two computers. We got a laptop. Over, well, technically three computers. We got a computer over there. Got a PC over there. And you can check the parts and do deads and whatnots other than using your hot box over there. Yeah, that's a hot box. Gross. Uh run. Very, very cool. But when it comes it seems like level 30 is far away, and it is, but we're getting a lot of jobs that uh, require a lot of attention. Like, even our roadster here. Like, you know, let's check out the trend. Let's check out the Pontiac. So, find and fix all gearbox problems. Car keeps slipping. Gearbox shifts rough. Let me tell you what's rough, sir. So, let's go ahead. I'll tell you what. Let's hop in. Let's go to the test path. Let's go Smokey and the Bandit style here, man. Have we unlocked anything? Car salon, wrong. Test track. Our auctions are not unlocked yet. Racetrack is not unlocked yet. That's gonna be, that's gonna be, that's gonna be flipping sweet, dude. All right, so let's get the Chieftain Bandit. I like the name of it too, the Chieftain Bandit. It's fancy. It's not fancy. By the way, people who have been asking in the comment section, how do you go to third-person mode? Hit the C button on the keyboard. Boom. You see a different camera. C for camera, folks. C for camera. Also, with the uh, Xbox Live, Xbox One, and the PS4, I believe the release for this game is in quarter four. So you're looking at. Nailed it. <laughs> Scurry. There we go. Too busy talking to chat. So quarter four between October and December. That's when that is slated for release. Just keep your eyes out. Brum, 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 brum. Oh yeah. Get our drift on, baby. Nailed it. Ah yes, yeah, all kinds of good stuff. All right, so let's see what if we uh, have unlocked anything. Usually, I mean, if it's gearbox related, just hop into the gearbox and just go to town on it. Just go to town. But what was I talking about before? Oh yeah. Uh, thanks for all the new subscribers and all the all the love and the likes. Really, really appreciate it. It's nice to see uh, a series kind of do a little bit better than uh, normal. It's nice. All right. So we got out of tie rods, 48 percent. Ah, do we really need to worry about that? Let's see. This could be something that's quick and easy. Could be something that's still pretty hard. All right, fixing gearbox problems. So that's probably just the gearbox itself that we're missing there. All right, so let's see. Let's boost it up. I said we were gonna do only do one today, and then I'm like, hey, you know what? Let's go ahead and do another. Who's it? Screw it! Screw it! We'll do it live. RFG Goodwin. Dang you, bro, son. You all kinds of gross up in here, man. Excuse me? You heard me. Can't see here. Hold on. There we go. Drive shaft. It's the hardest part to get to. Even in the old 2015, it was still the most difficult thing for me to try and get after. Boom. 
Boom. Boom. Nice. Your box. Taking out the pads. Nice. That's super duper nice, guys. Oh, yeah. Take off clutch release bearing. Hello. Grab you. Play. Wow, wheel. And that is everything we need. Cool. So, just the entire gearbox needs to be replaced. That's all. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Can I repair any of these? Nope. See, that's what I'm talking about right there. All right, it's so a tablet. We need a gearbox. Gearbox, eh? Is it the V8? V8 OHV? I get the... Yeah, OHV. Right. Gearbox, V8 OHV. Boom. Boom. Grab the flywheel because we still fly. And... Just type in clutch. Because we're clutch. Killing it in the clutch. Now it's getting also to a point where I might have to check. Once we start getting a whole bunch of parts in and we're starting to store it, we'll have to check our warehouse more often for things that we may have. Because we have a bunch of rubber bushings and wheel hub bearings and piston rings that, uh, not 100%, but they do get the job done. That's, your, that's what you need. Keep it on the cheap. I mean, technically, you've already purchased it. Flywheel, baby. Oh, there we go. Ow. Knock this out. Clutch pressure, pressure plate. Pressure plate. Pressure plate is like super sweet, guys. There's a lot of pressure. There's a lot of pressure, but you know what? We can handle it, okay? Quite the pep dog set. Quite the pep dog. Alrighty. There's a screw them joints in there. And then a starter V8. Not gonna add a pack. And last but not least, the tire's blocking our way. Drive train, drive shaft. Spin around, turn around. Every now and then I need to screw the drive shaft and even though it's difficult. All right, so boom, boom, boom. Everything's in order. $9,400 for a whole brand new gearbox as that price should be. Uh, inventory let's sell off these parts because we can't fix them anyway and boom just like that two jobs out of the way we got our junkyard unlocked soon we'll have to do just one more uh, one more fix what kind of cars we got rolling in here a Salem Spectre this gearbox ships rough oh see rep repair or replace body parts so instead of repairing it I have to just go in and replace it with all the different pieces is all right. Find and fix any running gear problems. Sloppy car steering. I'll take that order. Uh, we can take this. Pop it over to the right lifter. Oh, whoops. <laughs> My bad. My bad, dog. Oh no. Right lifter. Uh, what else we got? We got the Emben Lots and the Smith. Loud when accelerating. So that's probably a belt issue. Uh, probably. I'll peep that order though. Take a look at you. Ugly color. Loud but accelerating. One part. Right. And Royal Bianco. That's what she said. There's probably like a bunch of parts that are missing on that. Loud and accelerating. Transmission is noisy. I'll take that. Screw that in and that star. I don't care what he says. Nice. That took a little extra time than I thought. But all right. So we got our cars lined up. We got our ducks in a row. And it's going to get out of control. Folks, if you enjoyed this video, by all means, hit that like button. Helps out my channel ever so much more than you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead. Hit subscribe. New videos coming out every single day, every single week. Folks, have a great day, afternoon, evening. Good night. Peace out. Like, shout y'all. And I will check you out right here again in Car Mechanic Simulator 2018, baby. Next time. You're getting so big. Getting to be our little, our little gem, our little gem in the city. It's beautiful. <laughs>